This is question number five. We're told the second and fifth terms of a geometric series are 9 and 1.125 respectively. For this series, find A for three marks for the value of the common ratio, B for two marks for first term, and C for two marks for sum to infinity. So let's start off with the value of the common ratio. We've got a geometric series. We can say the nth term is A r to the power of n minus 1. So if we think about this now, the fifth term, so we can write this down, the fifth term is going to be a r to the power 4. That's going to give us 1.125. We've got now the second term, so that's a r to the power of 1, and that's going to give us 9. I'm going to call this one equation 1, this one equation 2. We're going to do 1 divided by 2. If I do that, the a's are going to cancel out. R to the fourth over R gives me R cubed, and that's going to give me 1.125 divided by 9. So we can say that R is going to be equal to the cube root of 1.125 divided by 9, and that will give us the common ratio. So through the calculator, we'll take now the uh, cube root, and we've got 1.125 divided by 9, and that's going to give us 1 half. So from here, we can say that the ratio is going to be 1 half. We need in part B for two marks for first term. So if we look now at the second term, the second term we have A R is equal to 9. So we can say that A multiplied by the ratio of 1 half is equal to 9. Multiplying both sides by 2, A is going to be equal to 18. So we've got a common ratio now of half and we've got a first term of 18. In part C, we need to, the sum to infinity. The sum to infinity is given now as a over 1 minus r. So this is going to give us now a, which is 18, over 1 minus the ratio, which is a half. That's going to give me 18 over 1 half. 18 divided by 1 half is going to give me 36. So 36 is the sum to infinity.